Golf is a highly athletic event, where your body generates a lot of power and force, so it needs to be ready for it. First, you need to make sure that your spine is long and your chest is not collapsing to increase your rotational range. Then, you need to ensure that your movements are coming from your core, not your arms or shoulders, to generate proper power. Then, you need to increase the degree of rotation of your upper body, which comes from the spine, but is also assisted by your hips and shoulders. If any of those areas are tight or restricted, your swing will be less powerful and less consistent. In this short practice, we'll lengthen your spine, awaken your core, and increase your rotational range. We also warm up your hips, shoulders, ankles, and wrists in movements that mimic various elements of the golf swing to make sure that your body is limbered up and ready to play. I'm Olga Cable, yoga teacher and yoga therapist. Let's get started. Begin standing. You can hold on to your golf club for stability. Bring the weight of the body to your left foot. And then whenever you feel ready, extend your right leg forward and lift it slightly off the floor, toes up. On the inhale, raise your right arm and reach up. And exhale, bring your arm out and down. On the inhale, raise your right arm up again. And as you exhale, bring it out and down. Do this movement two more times. Keep your leg raised, but make sure that your right hip doesn't hike up. And then go ahead and switch sides. Bring the weight of the body to your right foot. Extend your left leg forward. Keep it slightly raised off the ground and raise your left arm up. On the exhale, bring your arm out and down. And on the inhale, raise your arm forward and up. Continue to move like that. Breathe deeply. Keep your leg raised. Make sure that you don't hike your left hip up. And after you finish with your current cycle, bring your foot down, put your club away, and position your feet so that they're about hip distance apart, and fold your left arm behind your back. On the inhale, raise your right arm up, lengthen, and on the exhale, bend forward about halfway. Keep your spine long and your arm extended, and on the inhale, go back up. On the exhale, sweep your arm out and back, folding it behind your back as you turn your head away. On the inhale, raise your left arm. As you exhale, bend forward about halfway, bend your knees slightly, and on the inhale, go back up. On the exhale, sweep your arm out and down as you turn your head away. Continue to move like that, raise your right arm. Maintain the length of the spine as you bend forward, bend your knees a bit, and on the inhale, lift up. On the exhale, sweep your arm away as you turn your head in the opposite direction. Continue to move like that and focus on maintaining the length of the spine. You can experiment with bending your knees more or less, depending on how your hamstrings feel here. Continue to move with your breath. Keep your breathing deep and steady. And try to keep your arm by your ear when your arm is extended. Notice how your neck and your shoulder feel, both when your arm is by your ear and when you move your arm away from your ear. Do an even number on both sides and then bring your feet wide apart. Extend your arms in front of you with your fingertips pointing upwards. With the next inhalation, bring your arms out to the sides. And as you exhale, bring your right hand towards your left one, looking at it. And on the inhale, move your arms out. On the exhale, bring your left hand towards your right one, looking toward it. And on the inhale, bring your arms out. Continue to move like that, opening your chest and arms as you inhale and closing them as you exhale. Make sure that you widen your upper back as you exhale and widen your chest as you inhale. Continue to turn your head as you move your arm, but make sure that your lower body stays fairly stable in this position. And with the next repetition, we will add torso rotation. So next time you bring your right hand towards your left, also turn your pelvis, lifting your right heel off the ground. Inhale, return into the starting position, and as you turn to your right, lift your left heel off the ground and turn your pelvis to follow the movement of your hand. 
Continue to move like that. Lift your left heel as you turn to your right. Return back to the center. Lift your right heel as you turn to your left. Return back to the center. Make sure that your back leg turns in a bit every time you rotate the torso. After you do an even number on both sides, turn to your left. Turn your left foot out and your right foot slightly in and then turn your entire body to the left. With the next inhalation, bend your front knee and raise your right arm up. Stay here and exhale. Tuck the tailbone under slightly, hug your belly in and then interlace your fingers and extend your arms up with your palms pointing upwards. With the inhalation, lift your back heel up and as you exhale, pull it down toward the ground. Continue to move like that, lifting up on the ball of your right foot as you inhale and then pulling it, your heel down as you exhale. Keep your front knee bent and maintain a nice stretch through the entire body. Keep lifting your chest forward and up. Keep your upper body slightly in front of your hips and keep moving your heel up and down. After you finish with your current repetition, come out of the pose, lower your arms, straighten your front leg and turn to the other side. Turn your right foot out and your left foot slightly in. Turn the entire body to your right. With the next inhalation, bend your front knee and raise your left arm up. On the exhale, tuck the tailbone under, plant your back heel and then interlace your fingers, turn your palms up and stay here with every inhalation, lifting your back heel up and with the exhalation, pulling it down toward the ground while keeping your front knee bent. Continue to move like that. Continue to lift your chest up with every inhalation and continue to stretch upwards through your arms as you move your back heel up on the inhale and down on the exhale. When you finish with your current repetition, come out of the pose. Bring your feet closer together so that they're about hip distance apart. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, bend down, sliding your hands down towards your ankles. With the inhalation, extend your legs best you can and flatten your back, lifting the chin up a bit. And as you exhale, bend your knees and drape your chest over your thighs, relaxing your neck. On the inhale again, extend your legs best you can and flatten your upper body. And as you exhale, bend your knees and drape your upper body over your thighs, relaxing your neck. Continue to move like that back and forth. Do your best to extend your legs as much as you can. But the most important thing here is to keep your spine long. With the next exhalation, bend down, extend your legs as much as it's comfortable. Try to keep your chest pretty close to your thighs, relax your neck and take a couple of full deep breaths here. Then press your feet down into the ground, lead with the chest and go up into standing. With the exhalation, bring your arms down and then go ahead and grab your club. Hold on to it with both hands. Keep your feet a little wider than hip distance apart and then place the club behind your shoulders. Keep your lower body stable on the inhale, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, turn your upper body to your right, left, right, left, and inhale back to the center, lengthen upwards. And as you exhale, turn to your right, then to your left, then to your right, and then to your left for the duration of one exhalation. Again, inhale in the center, lengthening upwards. And as you exhale, turn twice to your right and twice to your left, alternating sides. Do this one more time, trying to keep your lower body pretty stable but not locked in place. And then when you finish with your current repetition, bring your feet a little bit closer together. Inhale here, lengthen your spine and as you exhale, soften the knees a bit and hinge forward at your hips. Keep your spine long. Inhale in position and as you exhale, turn again, bringing your right shoulder forward, left shoulder, right shoulder, left shoulder and then return back to the center and inhale here. And as you exhale slowly, once again, rotate your body, bringing your right shoulder forward, left shoulder, right shoulder, left shoulder, and then return into the starting position. Inhale here, lengthen your spine. 
and continue to rotate your torso. So you rotate it four times as you exhale. Continue with this movement one more time. Keep your lower body stable and your spine very long. And with the next inhalation, come out of the pose. Step your right foot forward. Keep your lower body stable, spine long. And the next time when you exhale, turn your upper body to your right. Look back and stay here. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, keep deepening the twist, turning your upper body to your right, looking back. Full deep breathing. Make sure that you feel stable in the pose. And with the next inhalation, lift your back heel up, coming up on the ball of the foot. And with the exhalation, pull your heel down. And at the same time, turn your head to your left. Continue to move like this. On the inhale, lift your back heel up. And on the exhale, pull it down. So your upper body stays rotated to your right, the head is rotated to the left, and you lift up on the ball of the back foot, bringing your back heel up and down with your breath. With the next exhalation, turn forward, plant your back heel down, and then change sides. Step your left foot forward, right foot back, lengthen your spine, and with the next exhalation, turn to your left. Stay there with the inhalation, lengthen your spine, and as you exhale, use your abdomen to deepen the twist, turning your upper body to your left, looking back. Continue to breathe here, keeping your legs strong and your lower body stable. At the end of your current breath cycle, turn your head to your right. With the next inhalation, lift your back heel off the ground. And as you exhale, pull your heel down toward the floor, anchor it. And again, on the inhale, lift your heel. And as you exhale, bring it down. Continue to move like that. Keep your upper body rotated to your left, your head rotated to your right, and keep moving your back heel up and down while staying steady in the pose. When you finish with your current breath cycle, come out of the pose. Bring your golf club down and place it down on the floor. Step over it and bring your feet wide apart. With the exhalation, bend down, sliding your hands down along your legs. Bend your knees slightly if necessary. And then move your arms back between your feet and hold on to your golf club. Extend your arms back. With the exhalation, curl the golf club upwards away from the floor. And with the inhalation, uncurl your wrists, lowering your golf club toward the ground. Continue to move like that curling your wrists upwards toward the sky as you exhale and releasing them down as you inhale. Make sure that your legs stay strong and your neck is relaxed. And then when you finish with your current breath cycle, put the golf club down, press your feet firmly into the ground, lead with the chest and come on up into standing. Stand up tall. Circle your shoulders back a couple of times. Close your eyes. Take a couple of full deep breaths here. Feel your body. Notice the sensations within your body. Notice the quality of your breath. Make sure that it's deep and stable. Notice the quality of your attention. Make sure that you are present and alert. Take a couple more full deep breaths here. Staying present in your body. And thank you for joining me today. Have a great game.